This is the Outdoor Emergency Care Skill Demonstration for Patient Assessment of an Unresponsive Patient. The scene is safe. I've got my standard precautions. I see one patient. She appears unresponsive with a severe mechanism of injury. Patrol dispatch. This is Matt. I'm on scene. I have one unresponsive patient. I need a toboggan, backboard, oxygen, call an ambulance, and put a helicopter on standby. So I've completed my scene size up. I'm gonna approach the patient. I'm considering C-spine. I'm gonna go ahead and direct my partner to go ahead and hold C-spine. I don't see any major bleeding that would require a tourniquet. And she's got signs of circulation and a carotid pulse, so she doesn't need CPR. I'm gonna go ahead and deal with the airway. We're gonna open the airway with a jaw thrust. I'm gonna open the mouth, look in the airway, if I see anything in there, I would clear it out with a finger sweep, log roll, and suction. And I'm going to insert an oral airway and see if she accepts that. I'm done with airway. Breathing. I'm going to look, listen, and feel for breathing. There is breathing. Breathing seems to be regular and adequate. I'm going to check the chest for major injuries. I don't find any major injuries to the chest. And when my partners arrive with the oxygen, we're gonna put her on high flow O2 by a non-rebreather mask. I'm done with breathing. Circulation, looking for any additional bleeding. I don't find any additional bleeding. Radial pulses are present, regular and strong. Perfusion, she's got good capillary refill. Her skin is worn pink and dry. And I'm done with circulation. We're going to treat for shock, put a blanket on her, and get her off of the snow into a sleeping bag in the toboggan as soon as it gets here. Disability? Ma'am, squeeze my hands. Squeeze my hands. And pinch her ear. She's unresponsive to painful stimuli, so she's a U on the AVCU scale. Her Glasgow Coma score is 3, and she's not moving any of her extremities, so I can't check for CSMs right now. I'm done with disability. We're going to get her in the sleeping bag and protect her from the environment. If we find any injuries, we're going to expose those as we go. So I'm done with the primary assessment. Patrol dispatch, this is Matt. I still have an unresponsive college-aged female patient, and I want you to have the helicopter go ahead and fly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do my secondary assessment. I'm going to start with the head-to-toe exam. So I'm going to check the skull and cranium. Don't find any injuries there. Checking the facial bones. Maxilla and mandible, they all seem to be intact. Again, looking in the mouth, looking in the nose, looking in the ears, it all looks okay. Checking the pupils. Pupils appear to be equal and they react to light. Okay, I'm done with the head and face. Checking the neck. I'm gonna palpate the C-spine. C-spine seems to be intact with no step-offs or deformities. I don't find any medical alert tags. Neck veins are flat. Trachea is in the midline with no tugging or deviation. I'm done with the neck. Moving down to the chest. Rib cage seems to be intact. Expands equally when the patient breathes. Done with the chest, abdomen. The abdomen soft and non-tender in all four quadrants. Pelvis is stable. Checking the lower extremities. I don't find any injuries to either femur, patella, tibia, or fibula. Ma'am, can you wiggle your toes? Wiggle your toes. There's no response and no movement. Distal pulses in the lower extremities are present. Checking the upper extremities. Clavicle, shoulder joint, humerus, radius and ulna are all intact. Radial pulse is present. Good capillary refill. Ma'am, squeeze my hand. Squeeze my hand. There's no response and no movement. Clavicle, scapula and shoulder, humerus. Radius on are all intact. Radial pulse still present. 
Capillary refill, still less than two seconds. Ma'am, squeeze my hand, squeeze my hand. No response and no movement. Uh, when the toboggan gets here with the backboard, we'll log roll her so we can check her back. We're done with our secondary head to toe. I'm gonna go ahead and get a full set of vital signs. And if there was anyone here that knew the patient, I'd ask for a sample history. Okay, I'm done with my secondary assessment and the toboggan's here. We're gonna go ahead and log roll the patient. So we'll log roll her up towards me on your call. One, two, three. Okay, checking the vac. Coming all the way down the spine. All seems to be intact and I don't see any other injuries and no other bleeding. Okay, we'll roll her back down. One, two, three. Okay, so we have an unconscious patient with a possible head injury. We're going to transport her in the toboggan, head uphill with full spinal precautions, and she's going to go in the helicopter when we get down to the base area. We're going to repeat vital signs every three to five minutes and continue to monitor the patient.